what it is and what it ain't. I'm going to let y'all know what I think. But first, you got to hit that post notification bell button so you always be in the loop every time I drop a new video. This your boy Gold Bond Shorty. Let me get straight down to business. Hey, man, we got that boy Professor Griffin and news headlines today, man. He talking about that boy Kanye West, man. So I'm going to get down to it, let y'all know what's going on. Make sure you check out my affiliate links, Cash App, your boy Mag Promo, M A G P R O M O. Hey, man, we're going to talk about it, man. It's looking like that boy Professor. Griff got something to say to Kanye West, man, because he's tired of Kanye West right now, you know what I mean? Because, you know, uh, Public Enemy, man, they was the group that, you know what I'm saying, paid the way for all these hip-hoppers, man, to go ahead and speak their mind. It was like, man, black power, man, that's the movement to get behind, man. We from Africa, man. We the black uh, race, man, and we need to uh cherish our race man we need to uphold the black community and stuff like that we can't let these white people come in and start buying up everything and taking over and controlling the masses you know what i mean but it's looking like you know hip-hop has changed you know since the golden days man the golden era man when you know public enemy and chuck d and stuff like that had so much to say and people was listening now it's too late to get the message out you know what i mean because kanye west he got a billion dollars and really all his endorsement deals got dropped from the white man and you know uh professor mcgriff was like man you shouldn't even got in the bed with them crackers in the first beginning you know what i mean they ain't nothing but rednecks you know uh I ain't mean no harm by what word I said, but, you know, the word cracker is used in the South a lot, you know what I mean? But he was talking about the white man, you know what I mean? But, you know, uh, Professor McGriff had a lot of points, man, when he was talking because he don't just talk, you know what I mean? He talked, but he back it up, you know what I mean, with facts. He was like, a lot of people say, you know, Kanye West was a genius, but... He really wasn't no genius, you know what I'm saying? You say the people that put together his CD with, you know, Chuck D, them, that was a genius, you know what I mean? You can't just go sample a whole bunch of music that was already out and make your own project and say, oh, I'm a genius. I put together all these old samples and made uh, a beat up under it, and then I rapped over it. Now I'm a genius, you know what I mean? Because it was different type of geniuses, you know, ones that... Uh, created medication and stuff to save the world. That's what Professor McGriff called a genius, not a nigga that's sampling beats and rearranging and doing treatments for videos, and now he's a genius. You know what I mean? Anybody that fucking put some lyrics to a motherfucking piece of paper is a genius if that's the case, you know what I mean? So, you know, uh, Professor G- uh, Griff was like, man, you know, if this man was a, a genius, he wouldn't be doing what he's doing, you know what I mean? Because, you know, they come up in that black power movement, man, and, you know, we fought a lot to get our people so far, and now that you got the bad, now you want to just make all these antics, and you just doing all these antics, and you just putting out all this negative press, you know what I mean? And we don't need it right now, so... You know, Professor Griff was like, man, somebody need to talk to him, man, and uh, kick some knowledge in his head because, you know, right now, you know what I mean, he making the black race look bad, and they going to tear him down before they pick him up. But, you know, they saying, you know what I'm saying, Kanye West shouldn't try to come to the black man now for his rescue because he been in the bed with all these white people so long, so they might just leave him out there, hang him out to dry and let the people deal with him the way that they want to do, do him because he got canceled for disrespect, the powers that be, that was cutting the checks for him. You know what I mean? Now, you know, he wanted to make everything black, but he was just saying white lives matter, so we don't know what the fuck going on. You know what I mean? Is you behind the black man or the white man, or do you want uh, us to just take your side for you can look good for the white man? You know what I mean? You trying to please these white people, but shit, you need to please the black people who bought your music in the first beginning, you know what I mean? You trying to make designer brands and cater to all these white folks, but you can see how they did you, you know what I'm saying? If you would have went and spoke to Professor McGriff in the early on days, you'd have knew that. You wouldn't even got in bed with him in the first place, but that's a lesson to be learned, man. 
Y'all let me know what y'all think, because that boy Professor McGriff, he always speak that real shit every time he drop a video. It's always good content. He always tell how he feel, you know what I mean? Even when he was speaking on that Trump situation with, you know, Kanye West, you know what I mean? He don't agree with everything Kanye West do, and, you know, a lot of people don't. But, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Peace of mind.